Be on Photography Show, Andrew Boy. Hey, we are not kidding when we tell you that you can send emails to us and tell us exactly what you want to learn in photography. But if sending emails is not your kind of thing, you can always turn up at our studio and ask us in person like what this man is doing here. Ladies and gentlemen, meet James Angrave. Hi, I'm from uh, Shanghai. I flew in here to ask Andrew a question in person. I love your videos. They're awesome. Thank you for your subscription and thank you for turning up all the way from Shanghai. So James, what is your question? My question is, how do I know when I'm shooting in the studio if I'm underexposed or overexposed if I look at the LCD, how do I know it's not my LCD that's the problem? Excellent question. To do this, we need a model. And you, James, are going to be the model today. Where's Get the lights! Eddie? Action! So we've gotten James sitting on a stool with a black backdrop. <laughs> what we want to do now is to grab any light, any watt per second, and put it about four or five or six feet away. Don't worry about the distance. I want to show you how beautiful this technique is. Take this light, make sure it's higher than James, and put it away. I don't even care what is the power. We can try midway and come to your camera make sure that the ISO is 200 and then your shutter speed is 200 and always start with f8 that's somewhere in the middle between f1.4 right all the way to f22 and then what you do is take a previous shot ouch if you look at this, you can see two layers or two subjects in this photo. There's James at the front, looking not very happily overexposed, and then the background. So if you look at the histogram now, you will also see two major peaks on the histogram. This group here is darker, it has to be the background, which is black, and this is definitely James. The point now is to bring James to where mid-tone is. But be careful. You cannot preview this photo on a computer screen or an LCD screen which is darker because it will still look correctly exposed because after all, you set the brightness too low. So the right way to do this is to look at your histogram. It's confirmed. That the man who came all the way from Shanghai, I have just made you overexposed. Let's fix this. To fix this, we have to learn to read the histogram and the columns associated to this. If you own a Nikon camera, this is about four turns on your aperture. This way and also this way. If you own a Canon camera, you want to put your subject here and every column is about three turns because three turns make one stop but if you own a Sony camera good luck <laughs> you have no columns so looking at this now I can tell that James is exactly four turns brighter than mid-tone on the aperture so I'm F8 now all I need to do is just go one, two, three, four so that's F9, F10, F11, F13. That's four turns on your aperture dial. We're going to fix that now. Perfectly on mid-tone. But I know you're going to be commenting down in the bottom that we don't see a rim line and then James is wearing black shirt. So we're going to add a little bit of rim light to James' shoulder here your face just a little bit. I like that pose, the one, that's good. And voila. 
So remember this, you shouldn't be looking at your LCD panel to gauge exposure. You need to look at your histogram and see where your subject falls on the histogram. That's how you know exactly whether it's your LCD panel that is underexposed or your histogram is the one that's wrong because you're overexposed. So always make sure that your subject is right smack on this line if you're a Nikon user. If you're a Canon user, you want to be on this column. If you own a Sony, well, since you have no columns somewhere, just right about there. So there you go. This is how you know whether your photo is underexposed or the screen is at fault. But with all these beautiful pictures, James, you got to be careful. You might just become famous. Uh, whose name should I put? Can you put it as lovely Helen? Certainly. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely one for me. Helen? Yeah. One for me. Oh, Michelle. yes. Michelle. Yes. Right, yes. girls, break it up. I need to film. I need to film. No, no, no. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Thank you. Right. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Right, right. Uh, yes, Mr. Spielberg, I I'm sorry. I'll be there in just a minute. I got just delayed by some fans here. Yes, just a second. Your name? I'm Helen. Oh, it's Helen again. Yes, I've seen you before. And your <laughs> beyond. All of a sudden, you have to introduce a new workflow, right? Yeah. And it's still honking. Hey. Better cut.